Some claim that President Trump is under attack by the deep state. That phrase refers to long-term government employees who stay from one administration to the next and manipulate the levers of power behind the scenes. Others claim there's no deep state, that government employees can be trusted to follow the policies set by elected leaders. And the news media, including the New York Times, Vox, MSNBC, and CNN, have attacked President Trump for distrusting law enforcement agencies and the intelligence community, with the support of some former intelligence officers and many politicians. Now, I've worked with people in agencies like the FBI and the CIA, and I have great respect for them as a whole, but the deep state is real. Consider, in 1964, the CIA used a fake news agency and spies in the campaign of Republican candidate Barry Goldwater to collect advanced copies of speeches and other materials. Those materials were then delivered to a CIA agent at the White House. John Roche, speechwriter for President Johnson, confirmed that somehow or other we used to get advanced texts of Goldwater's key speeches. All I know is that when I innocently inquired how we got them, the reply was, don't ask. Goldwater's plane was bugged. Four years later, the FBI bugged Richard Nixon's plane. According to the FBI's third-ranking official at the time, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover and his agents would regularly show politicians dirt the agency had on them to keep them, quote, right in his pocket. When John F. Kennedy became president, Hoover showed his files to Kennedy's brother Bobby, who was his top aide, to let the Kennedys know who was really the boss. As for the CIA, that agency in 1965 issued a memorandum to congressmen who were considering increased oversight of the agency. A prominent newspaper columnist called the memo, Raw Intimidation, a threat. The tacit message, he said, was, quote, lay off or open yourself to suspicion as a tool of the Russian secret police. Sound familiar? Those aren't just stories from decades past. In 2013, during congressional testimony, Director of National Intelligence James Clapper was asked, does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? Clapper replied, no sir, not wittingly. In fact, virtually all phone calls and emails were being monitored without a warrant as the law requires. Power is temptation. People in the government sometimes abuse their power to meddle in politics. Sometimes they lie about it. And that is the lesson of history. I'm Dr. Stephen J. Allen. If you like this video, please help us by sharing it. Thanks for watching.